Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all of the products that I have been loving for the month of September. I'm super excited because I feel like I have a good amount of products that I've been reaching for. Let's just go ahead and dive in. The first thing that I'm going to mention is a highlighter, of course. I absolutely love highlighting. It's probably one of my favorite things about makeup. I love the glow. I just love the way it makes your skin look. I just love the overall appearance. So the first one that I'm going to mention is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics, the Skin Frost, and this is an ice cold. This is a little bit more on the expensive side of highlighters, but the size is, I feel like on camera when I used to look at people's, I was like, wow, like why are they kind of, it looks a little bit bigger than normal size. But this actually is a very, it's a healthy amount. This is a blush, but this I feel like is a normal compact size. And this is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Compact. You just get so much product in here. And again, I think I use this if not by itself, I top most of my highlighters with this and it honestly doesn't even look like I've really dug into it. I love this. You get a lot of bang for your buck. So the next thing that I'm going to be mentioning is an eyeshadow palette. This is the Dose of Colors Eye Cream Palette. The packaging, can we just talk about? This is so beautiful. Going right into the eyeshadow palette, you do get 10 shades, a range of mattes and shimmers. I love this palette because it has so many neutral shades but it also does have your pops of color lavender honey mint chip I have done a look with both of those and I love them they are so amazing this is lavender honey and then mint chip bubblegum just for the heck of it let's go ahead and swatch that one this palette is just so awesome this uh berries and cream has become one of my favorite all over the lid shades it is very close to my skin tone so i love it there are just so many looks that you can get out of this palette next i'm gonna go ahead and mention is the kat von d shade and light palette i mainly use this to set the under eyes i use these top two shades right here i do use these shades um to contour and kind of bronze with. I don't touch this shade because it's a little bit too dark for me and a little bit too salmon-y. But the contour shades are awesome as well. I just kind of use this mainly for the highlighting shades. They look beautiful under the eye. They brighten the eye. My concealer doesn't crease with it. It's just love this so much. The next palette that I'm going to talk about I actually used on my eyes today to create this look. I have been loving this palette. For some reason it just hopped right back into my eyes the whole month of September. This is the Makeup Geek in Manny MUA palette. Please ignore my poor insomnia shadow. Tried to fix it and I didn't fix it very well. This palette is kind of like the Dose of Colors palette to me. It is just a range of great neutral shades. But then you also have your pops of color down here. You get mattes and shimmers with this as well. It's such an amazing palette in shades that I don't have in my collection so I just always reach for this one it's so small and it's just easy to travel with and I love this palette I have a, all Morphe brushes they're all dirty please excuse me I use them today they have become a staple in my makeup collection I all three of these are so amazing so the first one that I'm going to talk about is the Morphe 530. This is just the perfect brush to me to contour with. It fits right into the hollow of my cheek and just gets right in there. Gives me that precise contour. It's made contouring for me so easy and I just cannot get enough of this brush. So the next one that I want to talk about is the R41. Number one, the Rose Gold Collection is simply flawless. I love this brush for either my brow highlight or that inner corner highlight. It just gets the job done. It puts that highlight right where I need it to go. The next one I want to talk about is the R37. This has just become one of my favorite brushes to blend eyeshadows out with. This one I use more so for precision in the crease. It is a little bit smaller and tapered than the brush I'm about to show you next. This just puts the product right where I need it to go. It doesn't budge. It doesn't move. It doesn't flare out of my crease. It stays right where I want it to go. The next one I'm going to mention is the M510. I'm sure you guys have heard about this somewhere on YouTube. This brush is amazing for highlighting. I just think it gets it right where I need it to go, right on those cheekbones. It dispenses the right amount. It's not 
too heavy in one area and not in the other. It doesn't apply it patchy or anything like that. And the last brush I'm going to talk about is the Morphe R38. This is what I was referring to when I was talking about the R37. This one is a little bit more fluffy. It is still tapered as well, um, but it's not so compacted. It does flare out a little bit more. So this is what I'll use for my transition shades or any lighter shades when I first start. And then when I want to get more precise and right in the crease, I'll go in with the R37. I love these two brushes together. I cannot say enough good things about them. Now on to our last couple of items that we have. The first one is the Too Faced Sketch Marker and mine is in black. It looks like this. It is just a felt tip liner. But this has made applying eyeliner for me so easy. Eyeliner is probably one of the biggest things that I have struggled with throughout makeup. It takes me 20 minutes to do one eyeliner and I don't even want to do the other one. It just takes so long. I actually got this in the Nikki Tutorials Power of Makeup bundle. It came with that and I'm so glad it did. This has easily become my favorite liner of all times. The next thing I'm going to talk about, it's a little dirty. Don't judge me because again, I have been using it all month. I was walking through the Dollar General one day uh, looking for makeup wipes, I believe. And I just so happened to look over at the makeup display that they had. They had a eyelash glue and it's called Broadway Eyes is the company. And this is in black. It is odor free, latex free and waterproof. It is a strip eyelash adhesive 24 hour flex hold. This is no joke. It was like two bucks. It just looks like this. It kind of comes with an applicator, I guess you can call that. I don't understand why it's getting so messy. It's not like I like smear it all over the top. Like, I mean, I pull it out, put it on my eyelashes and go. I think that's the biggest downfall, but this lash glue, oh my gosh, I will be repurchasing this. So I'm going to talk about a foundation that I have been loving for this month. I'm super late on the bandwagon and I don't know why, but this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I, for the longest time, was on a dewy spree. Like, all I wanted to do was be dewy. But I picked up the Pro Glow Foundation, and I figured I might as well just go ahead and pick up the Pro Matte and kind of see in comparison. I know they're complete opposites, but I just wanted to see how it worked, and I am so glad I did. It mattifies me, but not to the point where I feel like I look flat. It keeps my oil from coming through. This is such a good foundation and is probably one of my top ones from the drugstore. I am so sad that I'm so late to the bandwagon, but hey, better late than never, right? The last product that I have is the ColourPop Brow Pencil. Holy jeez. I feel like I've heard people talk about this and they may have not liked it that much, but I love this. This has changed how I do my brows. It has a spoolie on one end and then it has the product on the other end. This it is super inexpensive and it's not waxy. It's not stubborn to blend out. It blends out like a dream with the spoolie. I just love this product. It blends out super nice. It's the perfect shade for me. It gives you that perfect brow. That's all the favorites that I had for this month. I loved every single one of these products. I have used them all month long. Let me know in the comments below what some of your favorites were for this month and if I haven't tried them I'll check them out. Thank you so much for watching. If you aren't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and check out next month's favorites and all the videos leading up to next month's favorites. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.